Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Well, this morning we're ready to fix another smoothie, and I wanted to talk to y'all about some of the stuff we're doing in the house. But first, we want to get the smoothie done. A couple of handfuls of baby organic spinach, two bananas. Oh, well, I'll show you down here. And we've got the usual. I've only got two little cubes of orange juice left, so I'm going to have to get some more oranges. Three cubes of cream of wheat and oatmeal, two cubes of almond pulp, four dates, two cubes of coconut pulp, and I'm using the center of the celery. And by the way, this part right here is very healthy for you too. So what I did is just cut away the bad part around the edge and leave that center in there having a carrot, two bananas, and this morning we're using strawberries and peanut butter. Now, the strawberries are going to be sour, so I already know I'm going to have to add some sugar. So I just want to cut up this celery, put that in. Now we're working on the house, working on the house, and mostly what I'm doing is working on the decor to make it look as good as we can make it. Put all that celery leaves and all in. Yes, I've been working on the artwork and uh, I got the pictures up in the, uh, what we call the middle bathroom or really the guest bathroom upstairs. And I got the pictures hung in the master bedroom. There's uh, pictures that I did a few days back with, uh, you know, in a series of three. Got those hung up. Had to use my uh, leveler, the big long leveler, since I was hanging three at one time to make sure we got them all right. All right, so we're going to squeeze the banana out. Turn up so y'all can see there. Squeeze it out from both ends. You know, previously frozen banana. And when you do it like that, all the strings come out where they stay in the peeling. I'm going to go ahead and dump the strawberries in now. And I think I'll also go ahead and put the peanut butter in. What I do is put my spoon down in the water that and that way the peanut butter comes off the spoon really well. I wish I'd have done that before. I'd have saved myself a lot of washing the spoon. About three tablespoons of peanut butter. See? All only left a little bit on the spoon up there. Alright, so now we're gonna add the rest of this stuff partially thought out, and we're using those dates to sweeten, but the strawberries are so sour that I actually have to add a little sugar to the smoothies when I use those strawberries. They're just sour, so about a tablespoon of sugar, and I'm going to just go ahead and add the full two cups of water because I've been needing that much water every morning, so I'm just going to go ahead and add it in right to start with this morning. All right, so we're ready to grind this up. There's what it looks like. Let me move y'all closer. Here's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to cut this off while we grind it up, and we'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and let this run for a full minute this morning because I had frozen stuff in there. Went ahead and added the two full cups of water. Just went ahead and did that. All right, so we're going to fill these glasses, and I know I'm going to have overage, so I'm going to put it in the ice trays. And I have not tasted of it. And if it's not sweet enough, it's just going to be too bad. Yeah, we're just going to drink it like this. All right. Didn't have a full ice tray, but... What I do with the overage is 
uh, freeze it, put it in a plastic bag, and we use it on Sunday morning. It's good. Just the overage. All right, here we go. It could have used more sugar, but it's still good. But we're not going to put any more in. It's just drink it like this. Okay, so I've been working on the artwork for the walls because I'm not sure how long ago we had a couple of big garage sales and I sold every painting I had, every one. And uh, I had a whole bunch of paintings of the Citadel where the both boys went to school. And a dealer came up from Charleston, an art dealer, and bought every one of them. And then, of course, all the rest of the paintings sold too. But uh, anyway, we had a whole bunch of furniture and all kinds of kitchens, just a lot of stuff. And we ended up having two garage sales, one uh, April 1 and, oh, no, is that right? Yeah, April 1, and then we had one May 1. Or was it May and June? May and June, yeah. It was May and June. Because it took me really a whole month to get ready to do the next one because we had so much stuff. The attic was full of stuff, bedrooms full of stuff. I had more furniture because we had part of my mother's furniture, part of his mother's furniture, just all kinds of stuff. Plus the house at that point was uh, decorated in all country, y'all. And y'all, you know, when you do stuff in country decor, you got all kinds of little knickknacks and everything. I just got rid of everything. Just the whole business went and we started over. And so I never really uh, did more pictures for the wall. I was doing a few uh, portraits back then but I didn't really do any more pictures for our own walls. I did Well, I did the one of the Longhorn cattle, and uh, I think that's pretty well it. So anyway, now what I've done is I pulled out all the unfinished canvases that I had, things that I had started I didn't like, and so I just didn't finish them. And so now I'm working on, now they have become valuable to me because they're partially done and I can just add to them. So anyway, I'll show you one of them that I did. This one. It was, um, the background was, the bottom was green, the top was yellow. I don't know what I was thinking on that. The apples are red, so I went ahead and made them a darker red. That's a rolling pin there. But you can see how it, it met, well, you can't tell on camera, but it's more of a purple background and it matches the walls better. And we're gonna make, a, I wanna get a little piece plant to go here to come up a little higher to make that look right. This is some pottery from uh, Moore County, North Carolina. My mother gave me that for Christmas, that, that little, uh, pottery there. I loved it. Anyway, that was years and years ago. Of course, I didn't sell that at the garage sale. But anyway, my kitchen's still messy, and I'm working on this painting now. And I started it making the tree with green that I didn't like it, made it with like it was fall of the year, changed these. Let me hold it up. Changed the trees in the background. Didn't like that. So this is supposed to be a scene uh, more of marshland off Edisto Island, or really behind Edisto Island. So what I'm gonna do is change that tree to make it a cypress tree and change the colors back to more green, extend the water all the way through, so and, and take off a whole bunch of the leaves on the tree and just put a few at the top because that's what a cypress tree looks like. It does look like a cypress at the bottom because it always the cypress trees always have real wide bottoms because they, of course, can grow in the water. But anyway, then uh, I went ahead and framed it or put it in the frame and I sprayed this frame. Uh, well, I was going to use it in the bathroom upstairs, but I found something else to use that I like better. So anyway, I'm going to work on this a little bit today. And the, you see all that mess? This is what happens when I paint. 
Of course, I usually do it on an easel and upstairs, but anyway, I've got the rooms upstairs all straight, and I didn't want to be painting up there. All right, so what we're going to do today, I wanted to tell you about this. Uh, I read, oh, wait a minute, I came closer, back up, back up there. I read on the uh, internet a whole bunch of, uh, uh, and watched a whole bunch of videos on YouTube about staging a home for sale. Let me put y'all back up here. All right, there. All right, so I read a whole bunch of, of uh, uh, websites and I looked at a ton of videos. And one of the things that they made really, really clear is don't have lace curtains up in your house. Okay, this is my kitchen. There are the lace curtains. And of course, I've got them in the living room too. So uh, the lace curtains were really Victorian. They really were. And so I had taken them down in the dining room. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take them down in the living room too. So I went ahead and ordered curtains. Now, I ordered the curtains from Walmart. I know, I read a bunch of the reviews and I can tell you the curtains have already come and the curtain rods. Now, I ordered the curtains, the brand name I guess was Better Homes and Gardens and I really love the curtains. I was shocked because my thought was when they get here, if they look cheap, I'm sending them right back. But they didn't. So when the curtains, after the curtains got here, I went ahead and thought, well, I'm going to order the curtain rods too. So I did. And anyway, it's all here now. So today I'm going to be hanging curtains in the foyer and the living room. And if I really like those uh, and the way they look and everything, we'll probably do them for two of the bedrooms upstairs too. Because we're making the house as if, you know, as good as we can and kind of toning down the Victorian a little bit and certainly the lace curtains because I had no idea that people don't like lace curtains when they're looking for a house. So taking the lace curtains down and in the uh, kitchen in here I'm going to go ahead and make Roman shades. I don't have the material yet. I did order the little parts that go up at the top of the window or the top of the little board that you put you know, to be able to raise them up and down, I, I already ordered those. And uh, so now I've got to find the material for these two windows, and I'm going to make those. And I think it will look a lot better in here then. It won't look so Victorian, I know. Uh, so anyway, uh, we have uh, gotten the closets cleaned out. Everything's gone to Goodwill or the dump. Not much went to the dump. Most of it went to Goodwill. And... Uh, got that done and so I got to do my kitchen cabinet shit. I mean they're pretty clean but I've got to downsize and uh, so we're going to be taking care of that too and I don't know if I'm going to do any more artwork. I've got two more canvases upstairs that I started on and never finished. I might finish those and make the colors coordinate with whatever room I'm going to put them in which is exactly what I did to the one I just showed y'all on the wall. The background was yellow and green. I don't know, I don't know why I did that, but I never liked it. So I changed it and Mr. Bucky said, well, this might look a lot better if you made the apples, uh, like golden delicious apples. I did three of them. It didn't look good because of course you were looking at a, uh, the color didn't go, it didn't go. So, that, so they I put them back the deep red. And because this, uh, tile in here has got a little purple and sometimes it looks a little burgundy on the tile so I think it goes pretty good and uh, anyway I'm just going on and on y'all so we're going to have our smoothies and I will record the doing the drapes I want to show y'all what they look like and I'm going to go ahead I have to iron them a little bit and I've got to put up the curtain rods so Mr. Bucky's already moved the ladder in there for me and we're going to do that today, and hopefully it won't take too long. But I will record that and show you all what it looks like. All right, we will see you all then. Bye.